With precision and state-of-the-art technology, Austin Cyberknife treats brain tumors while giving patients the best quality of life possible. Dr. Douglas Rivera is a radiation oncologist with Austin Cyberknife, and Dr. Jordan Amadio is a neurosurgeon at Seton Brain and Spine Institute Neurosurgery in Del Seton Medical Center at the University of Texas. They are here with more. Gentlemen, thanks for joining us today. We appreciate it. Thanks. First of all, what, what is a brain tumor, and what are the signs and symptoms that people should be looking out for, doctor? So we're recording this during Brain Tumor Awareness mm -hmm. Month, and so it's very important to know that a brain tumor is simply an abnormal growth of tissue that can occur within the central nervous system. Mm -hmm. uh, it can arise from the brain itself. We call those primary brain tumors, and about 80,000 Americans are diagnosed with a primary brain tumor every year. Mm -hmm. um, and then there are brain tumors that arise from a different part of the body and travel to the brain. Okay. Those are metastatic brain tumors, and they're about three times as many. Uh, overall, about 700,000 Americans right now are living with a primary brain tumor, and many more than that with metastatic brain tumors. Wow. And so it's a significant problem that affects a lot of people. Yeah. Um, but I really want people to know that having a brain tumor uh, is not a death sentence. Uh, there is quite a lot of hope and many new treatments on the horizon and mm -hmm. that we can currently perform uh, that can treat brain tumors effectively, um, often in a minimally invasive fashion, and using multiple disciplines to approach brain tumors at the same time, such as radiation oncology, yeah. neurosurgery, and medical oncology. Dr. Rivera, tell us about CyberKnife and how you use that to treat brain tumors. So CyberKnife is really a complement to our multidisciplinary mm -hmm. approach of yeah. care. Um, and sometimes it can be a replacement for surgery, other times you use an adjunct to. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's a very focused way of delivering you know, primary treatment to the, the small lesion in some cases. Mm -hmm. Why is it important, or what do we need to be looking for in a medical team for this kind of treatment? Um, a lot of moving parts and, and a lot of working together here, right? Correct, Amanda. If you're a patient with a brain tumor diagnosis, uh, one of the first things you should look for is a medical team with experience. Mm -hmm and that works in a multidisciplinary fashion. So you want physicians who have seen uh, brain tumors a lot. Uh, you want a specialized center, uh, and you want a place where neurosurgeons, radiation oncologists, and other professionals can work together in a coordinated fashion mm -hmm. uh, to provide care. So for instance, uh, here at Austin CyberKnife and uh, Seton Brain Spine, we're literally across the street from one another. We communicate constantly, mm -hmm. uh, and that's what you really look for in a treating team. Yeah, absolutely. I love that you said a brain tumor is not a death sentence, and I know that quality of life has been very big in our discussions before. It's absolutely. very reassuring for people to hear that. You need to hear that at this point, right? And I know that's like your focus, for sure. Absolutely. I, I think part of the job of, of a physician or mm -hmm. a surgeon uh, is not only to treat the patient's diagnosis, but also to uh, treat the person as a whole and provide hope and provide confidence that they're getting the best care available. Yeah. Thank you both for coming. We appreciate it very much. Thanks so much. Thank you. Austin CyberKnife is located on I-35 near the Dell Seton Medical Center at the University of Texas. You can call them at 512-324-8060 or go to austincyberknife.com.